<laughs> Lost off. There we go. <laughs> oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. Uh, we are Captain Hillian tonight, along with... He is a mighty Lieutenant Rakeel at your service. <laughs> and welcome okay. back, finally, to Heart Space Shipbreaker. This will be the 11th stream we've done on this, or at least once we started counting. And uh, yeah, it's been a long time since we last streamed this game. And uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> last time the studio was still in early access, and as we see here, over my head, between here and here, last update 11 7 2022. Yeah. So yeah, the last time we streamed this, I think I said something along the lines of that I would continue with the game once it would stop resetting its story each and every time. And well, seeing as it's been fully released for over a year and a half now about, I'd say we are more than in the clear on that. But yeah, yeah there's a reason we're calling this number 11 and not another number one because well, we're just going to continue on from a uh, from a file where I've already played some, and I think we are at about the same place. Like we, I think we just got into radiation last time, <clears throat> and yeah, that's where I'm at with this. Wait, wait, did you do double check with the videos? Uh, no, but I think it is about uh, the same place. And if it is not, I don't think there's too much loss. I think. We had, we had access to uh, the little ship. We, we could tear out components out of stuff. Uh, but I don't think we'd gotten radiation, or we hadn't handled stuff with radiation yet. But yeah, for the sake of, well, keeping things going, we'll be going on an open shift, on open shift difficulty, which means no time limit and infinite amounts of possible respawns. They'll, they'll still cost us. And I'll also turn off the oxygen drain, just to make sure that we don't need to keep hopping back and forth to the, the refill terminal too often. So yeah, let's get started. Now, the most things that, the most that we probably would have missed is a uh, that <clears throat> is a uh, hell and the manager talking about radiation stuff. But I'll have to double check. <clears throat> I'll have to double check with uh, the uh, last video on this if we actually had seen that or not. If not, then I might just patch it in bef before on this. Hello, Shipbreaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Hmm. Pattern yeah. deviation nominal. Have a good day. Nominal? What thing do you mean, nominal? Yeah, apparently my... Hell, the nope. fingers. Turn the fuck off. Apparently, my PC speakers, or at least the speaker sets, is refusing to turn off. So I'm getting double audio. Yeah, I think it got to turn it off finally. Okay. That's a good morning, Shipbreaker. Okay. Okay, uh, that's a bit different now. Let's see. The certification. Let's see, we are at level 14 here. And let's see, where is the hazard of... I haven't done any missions since I unlocked the radiation hazard level. Uh, but yeah, the, the basic thing about it is that we need to be really fucking careful with it. Okay, I've also gotten the stuff like here. I hadn't I, it's, I hadn't identified this one yet. Let's see, Lynx Drive nine three two one nine. The, the weird thing is, during one of the during one of the <clears throat> I wouldn't call them missions, or whilst I was tearing down one of the uh, ships working up to this point, I noticed that there was an ob with the object scanner of the helmet. I noticed that there was a, a certain something taped to the back of the fucking habitat. Which was a, a, it was a hard drive, and that's what this uh, came from. Let's see, four dads, two Paul Schaefer, interlink can, da, 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 warning unauthorized address cannot be sent. Hey dad, I remember it's something today. Way back when I was small, before you left the surface, you taken me with you to the scrapyards. I hated it, and all I ever did was watch you pick through piles of stuff that I thought was just junk. I couldn't have helped even if I'd uh, tried, but you insisted on bringing me anyway. I think I get it now. Picking these ships apart up here, it's lonely work. I wonder how Mom's doing. Trent. Okay. 
Uh, I forget if that's the name of one of the characters we're, uh, we have uh, in our crew or not. Also, we have a message. Is it uh, scanner, system mode? Uh, yeah, just to show fuel, coolant and all of that such. Let's see, is there anything here about the radiation? Mm -hmm. New ship type, new ship, new ship. Uh, spares and use certification. No. Hmm. Hazards fire, hazards electricity, pressurization. Okay, yeah, there, radiation. Congratulations, you've been authorized by your administrator to work with irradiated objects. Modern spacecraft are fitted with valuable radiation filters to absorb cosmic radiation. Filters can be found in containment units throughout the ship. Use the following retrieval process. Carefully remove the containment unit's access panels. Carefully cut the frame holding the radiation filter. Carefully maneuver the filter to the barge. Warning, Radiator, <coughs> radiation filters are fragile and will emit dangerous radioactive particulate if damaged or jostled. So yeah, we need to be real careful with this. Also, I think something needs to be reset. Give me a sec on this. Always on top. There, there. Okay, otherwise it keeps looking like I'm freaking falling a freaking sleep. Okay. So yeah, that's what we'll have to deal with now. I haven't had as much progress with this thing since last time. Uh, but we'll get to work on that. I'm still convinced that there are probably at least three endings. I haven't looked up anything on how many there actually are. But I'm thinking there's probably one ending for working off our debts. One for uh, setting up a union and one for selling out the union. Or a, a fourth no, possible no. one for just fucking off with the ship. Yeah, that one. And also... Working off your debt. Here, yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> they designed for you to not be able to do that. True, but I have been cutting away quite quickly at it. I'm pretty sure there used to be a five over here. Though I might be wrong on that. Uh, let's see... Let's see if we have any with radiation. A quasar thruster. Let's see. Hazard level 8. Oh, over here. Explosive, electrical, frost and fuel. Okay. So it's not going to tell us outright if there is something with... Uh, <clears throat> if there is something with radiation, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. A heavy... Let's see, which of these is the most valuable? It's, of course, the freaking Gecko. The biggest ship of them all. <laughs> At least to my knowledge. And I haven't run into one of these yet during this run. So, let's go give it a shot. Hey. They named the biggest ship after a very small animal. Yep. <laughs> okay, no tutorial on radiation? Okay. Now then, yeah, right, this thing is pressurized. They did the AI since last time. Mm -hmm. like AI, no, UI, I mean <laughs> UI. <laughs> okay, there's a little on the outside to pluck off. There is this thing. Let's see, sensor tower, okay. I'm not sure if it was in the game last time we played, but now whenever we're holding something or looking at it, it also shows how much it's worth. That way you can take good, <clears throat> make some good estimations on what is worth it to actually salvage and what you can just dump out. Right. Let's check along the sides. Nacelle. Okay, we need to get in and cut it those. Before, but yeah, no, I'm sure. Yeah, I think before it was like you did not know until you dropped it into the net or into the furnace or into the other thing. Yeah. You only got to know after you have thrown them into the damn thing. Okay. Let's see. You can't see too much damage to my equipment. Now, let's open this thing up. We are going to need to depressurize the entire thing. And if I recall correctly, these geckos have multiple components, you know, component areas in them. Or at least the hold and the general area. 
So, yeah. Close that off. We'll need to look for the atmosphere regulators and such. Okay. Nothing too noticeable right away. Let's see. Any atmosphere regulators in here? Or... There's the ECU, the coolant system. We'll need to uh, keep that safe. <laughs> Otherwise, the reactor is going to go boom. And let's see. Oop. I'll be taking that. I wish I could take this here, because our character probably needs it. Oop. Grabbing that. Oop. I accidentally hit my... Oh, oh, come on, this stupid thing is damaged. Okay, are there any others of those around? Yoink. And that's one of the fuses that I can hear through the hull. Or through the interior hull, that is. Okay. Give me that. Yep. Now there's an upgrade ready for the space truck. Okay, there is a working one over here. Hmm. Now, do I want to blow out the air from all of this right here? Or do I want to be a bit more careful with it? I'll definitely want to pick this up, because we don't want that to go flying. Not that I, not that I actually know or not if those can get launched, but they're an explosion hazard. I'm going to not take the hazard. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of an incident you did years ago that you uh, clipped. This one also functions. Uh, you, you don't remember, do you? Yeah, the explosive barrel that just flew past <laughs> as I was decompressurizing a place. Yeah, and then there was another incident that you thought that... Yeah, you were unaware you were about to make something blow up. <laughs> uh, there was one time that the depressurization on a loose cockpit went real wonky and went the other blasted way. But I think with the explosive, mostly I'd managed to keep it, well, not from exploding too much. It's, what's that red light over there? Hmm. Okay, there's the reactor. The engines. What? What's this doing floating around loose? I'll pick that. Okay, why are the... Why are those red? Hmm. Well, it's, it's obvious. To make you go faster. Okay. Oh, God. No. What? what? Orcs in this universe? Uh, more, more of a... Uh, take this concept, uh, like you think about uh, ships or anything else, but we orcs in 40k. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that it would be your something as much as possible to build something crazy. Yeah, or for a mech boy who is going to make something crazy. That, that could actually be fun. <laughs> okay, since it's the only loose thing at the moment, let's shove this thing into the airlock. So it doesn't cause much damage. <laughs> Wedged it for a moment. Okay. Just stick you in there for the moment. Actually, fuck it. I'm just going to dump it straight into the barge. Have it be done with so it's not just floating around doing nothing. Oh, dear. Oh. Hmm? oh. I just no, remember something about the orcs I learned uh, the other day. Oh. Orcs in 40k, can a pill die of mal malnutrition if they don't get to fight? <laughs> Not too surprised with that. Yeah, but it's still a bit of... A bit of a... Bit of a huh? Moment. Yeah. <laughs> but also... Literally die from boredom. Yeah, but also takes the, the, the concept of... 
It uh, almost cut your place. Yep. Fight you... or die? That was a little bit too literal. Yeah. Oh, some stuff got destroyed. A heart crate. Okay. Oh, no, I remember. You, you forgot to secure something and you were to dis pressurize the cockpit. Yeah, something explosive just flew past you into the cockpit and blew up. <laughs> I don't think it blew up, but there was a time where just an entire fuel barrel just went uh, high and by past me. <laughs> yeah, and it, I'm pretty sure it, it blew up. <laughs> you survived, but not, but not of the cockpit did not. <laughs> and looks like we do have a radiation filter right in the freaking seating area. Okay, what genius came up with that? Okay. Hail. Do you really want to ask that in this hyper capitalistic uh, world? No. <laughs> well, I could ask it, but I'd know it'd be a waste of time. Okay, as usual, leave one in. That way the thing doesn't go into meltdown immediately. Okay. And now we start peeling this thing like an oversized banana. Okay. Let's try and line up a good amount of them. Still more. Line up laser blasts is fun, aren't they? <laughs> yep. They were being lining up a different kind of lasers as Mechanicus. <laughs> oh. Okay, I probably should have kept the check out for any other pressurized areas, but <laughs> at least it was only the airlock that got blown out and didn't even damage it. Luckily enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, one of the big reasons why I decided to pick this game back up again is because one of my friends, Xterra, uh, from Discord and such, and he's not on our server, but he is on the gay uh, server, or G-A-D-E is probably a better way to say it, otherwise it's going to sound like I'm saying gay every time. But yeah, he started playing it and it just reminded me, oh right, yeah, that game exists. Now I know who to blame. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if I'm on the same level as with, with the upgrades as I was when we last played this game, but it should be at a reasonable point. I've got the, <laughs> these things, the demolition uh, charges. I've got the, uh, yeah, the gripper or the grapple decently upgraded. Okay. Okay, before we can pull that thing out safely, we need to find the fuses and pull those out. Okay, it has been fun returning to this game so far. Let's see if it'll remain as fun as we get to deal with more and more hazards and, well, freaking middle management. Oh, hello. Coolant tank. Okay. Uh, I think my question is more of how many will be placing bets to see for how long it takes before I go berserk. <laughs> Probably not too long. Let's see, what is oh, this gosh, here? That, that mine, oh, oh it's another radiation containment. Uh, it, careful now. But yeah, now I just had another ED that could also work for the KB was with this concept. Mm. The Mechanicus. Uh, of course. <laughs> It, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? True. Though, in your case, if you were to cleanse something, some, something you'd be holding up an, in, an incense or whatever it's called. Uh, do those Bo metal balls with smoke. Burner. Thank you, those. Just waving it about, talking to the machine spirits, praying yeah. and anger it. Now, more likely would probably be that you'd be playing as some sort of a servant, 
who has been conscripted to do the work because of perhaps an overload of work or something, that they don't have enough actual tech priests to do it. I do think servitors do help out with some mm. things, but I don't think it would really be interesting to be play as a servitor since... Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm thinking more like just a general scab plucked from one of their forge worlds or something. I may have misused the word scab there, but basically some unlucky fucker who had the choice do this or become a, a servitor. Oh, gods. Either that or a novice priest. Mm. Lots of hazards to keep an eye on. Mm. And luckily, we should be safe just cutting off the outer shell. But I do need to keep an eye on, on what I'm actually fucking uh, freaking burning. Waste disposal yeah. unit. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have accidental new up things without being careful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you accidentally once started quite a fire. <laughs> On at least one occasion. <laughs> Let's see, I've probably... Bl I think I've blown up at least two reactors at any points as well whilst we were streaming this. And yeah, whilst I was working up towards this, I blew up one more reactor. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to say this? It does cooperate with Discord better than the other times. I yeah, sure it's, 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 it's been more stabilized. And... Yeah, it does still pixelate now and then, but when it does pixelate, it doesn't take long before it gets stabilized again. It, it, okay. it takes me a second. Oh, the other time it took seconds as well, but I we talked about like before it could take like 10, 15, 20 seconds to get a bit more stable. It's like one, two seconds? Yeah. Is this still good? Let's see, that so should far, be most of those. So far, it seems Discord doesn't like whenever you fire the laser. Yeah, the game the game itself doesn't really like that too much because then it has to calculate, okay, how much does this thing weigh? How much does this chunk weigh? So that does take a few moments. Okay. Let's eject the fuel. Whilst we still have power. Okay, that's all of the lights on these off. Right, you ejected actual fuel or just the fuel tubes? And then all of the fuel is out of the pipes. Or it should be out of the pipes. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. Like, because they installed some sort of audio sensors into the gloves to make sure. Okay, and with the coolant mostly removed and the fuel out of the system, the reactor should be at its at its safest at the moment, as long as nothing goes boom near it. That's gonna go over here. <laughs> okay. Now that's reacted a bit strangely in that it just jumped down, but okay. Yep. But this, this game is still a bit janky here and there with its physics. I can see that from here. <laughs> Out of the blast radius. Yep. Uh, can you still hear me well? Yep. <laughs> Good for a moment to settle in the of my room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep. Yeah, let's get to actually peeling this uh, oversized banana. Well, let's I, I, this, I just realized. I don't think I can connect the. My own computer would probably be connected with my TV. Because we did that for a short time. But I don't think we can do it with this one, but it would probably be fun if I could connect this computer to the TV while we stream. And <laughs> 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 he's laying bed and could commentate. Okay. That's slipping out. Okay. Oh. Uh, you just need it moved a little bit. 
it, would that make me Lord Comfy in a new Maybe. level? Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's pluck you out. Just a spare bit of coolant at the front of the ship. Uh, go back now. <laughs> okay. One thing that is a bit different from, from before that I'm pretty sure of is that it's a small thing, but I'm pretty sure the barge didn't used to be that deep. It used to be a lot la more shallow, I believe. Uh, I'm pretty sure it used to be further away. Mm -hmm. Yep, they made it. They made it a lot more deep, but they <laughs> they also moved it up. Okay. I'm Anything like in that. this thing? Gonna make sense. Okay. And that's the nose out. Still gotta be a bit careful with these big ass chunks because, like it says underneath the cursor, this thing weighs a combined what five, the... <laughs> almost six tons. Oh, my! One of my neighbors are drilling. Okay. Did you think yeah, you had a dentist visit with... or something? Wait, you can hear it? No. Oh, for the oh, really quite long. <laughs> oh, and now it stops. There. Get this thing going. And we should also try and get this thing going. It is a little bit over the cockpit area, so let's move it forwards. Hmm. Okay, it's not moving. Or rather, it has moved, but it's gotten itself stuck. Hmm. Okay, cancel that tether. Let's see, I'll need to pull it down a bit. Also, this is now loose. Okay, the first chunk has already disappeared. Send that after it. And that one got cancelled, so let's move it up again. Okay. There. And there. No, it looks like it is. It like, looks like it's properly wedged onto there. Hmm. Okay, we have a bit of a gap. Hmm. Okay, we'll need to do a bit of surgery with that, I think. But let's let let's leave that be for the moment. It waits with canceling the tethers until the other piece is done. Okay, this is mostly uh, processor. Yeah, it's covering the waste disposal system. Let's see. Okay, that's the big one. Cancel that one. Now, where does this start and where does it stop? Right at the edge, about. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's need to get a good angle to get a good one long cut. And there. Then we move over to here. Just a tiny bit there. Okay. Uh, oh. I forgot that this thing has a nuisance with this. It's stuck with these. Hmm. Okay, at least it's up from the disposal system. So that does mean that I'll have to do a few more cuts. I'm mostly going for completion with the salvaging. For the extra rewards that that gives. Oop. Even though that isn't well, twenty thousand is still a good amount, but I could have it would have been worth it to lose it with all of this here. Just forty three, twelve, seventy eight. So yeah, just a fuck ton more than that was worth. So let's just send that off. Last check for any systems or objects in it. None. 
just to double check in case someone had glued another <clears throat> hard drive to the back. Okay. Now, let's go for the electrical system. Yep, still a tiny bit of aluminium that was lost there. Okay. We gotta pull this there. Okay. Yes, you wonder how it is lost in there. Like, furnace, you smell it down. Gotcha. What is processing do? Uh, I believe it cuts it to uh, absolute ribbons. And yeah, at that point, it probably isn't worth it to try and put the, uh, the smeltable stuff back together. You can still smelt it. Hmm. Let's see, where's any other fuses here? Hmm. I think I smell them. Just, they are making this system to recycle all, but they all consciously do it in this way to make sure you uh, gonna need to pay, work harder, get more in depth and all that. <laughs> See, I want to cut into this thing, but I fear I might cut through something valuable in it. Hmm. Or am I just going to need to keep wriggling this thing until it comes loose? Are you sure it's even loose? Now it's, it's moved upwards at the back there, so it has been moved around from contact with other stuff. Hmm. Plus, there's the fact that this doesn't align anymore. Yeah, see, it's looking upwards now, not forwards. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, for the moment, let's keep the material moving. Triple checking for anything of value. Okay, there's still some. Uh, there's still another fuse somewhere. Let's take a quick look for that. Let's see. I'm not recognizing it if it is in sight now. I get the feeling it's probably going to be closer to the back or something. Thermal spreader. Hmm. There isn't too much on the underside here. There is this LR filter. That we can cut out for the barge. Also, the yeah radiation containment unit. Can I just no? Okay, you're already exposed. Grappler damaged. Okay, let's have our first attempt at a radiation material. Then, okay, I did not expect that to get burned away in one go like that. Okay, try not to try not to jostle it. The heck? I kinda happy there, but also not kinda not expecting it. And the fact that it burnt off in one go. Yeah, the, maybe there's again, we have, it's been a long time we played this, so maybe you were supposed to do it with the piece by piece, but maybe they patch it out for all we know, due to it causing issues. Okay. Don't, don't throw yourself in there. <laughs> okay, that's one radiation filter done. Yep. <laughs> There's an. Wait, where does this lead to? On there? Yeah. Okay, it's just a, <laughs> a side storage room. Okay. <clears throat> oh, may as well get that out. Not too fast, you. Okay. And go. Okay. Hmm. You go there. Nothing too much on top of it. Okay. You go there. Three tethers left. It's going. 
not too many of those annoying little lights on the insides, though they really aren't really worth it to pluck them all off. But I will. Let's see, a panel. It's meant to be Everything burned off. Me. What is behind that? Hmm. Another furnace panel. Let me see. There. Okay, and then a, a cut next to this bit here. There. Actually, another thing about it, you could probably get a little bit more off of it if you were to go for a diagonal cut there. But, oh uh, well. I'm not going for 100% salvaged. I'm going for, well, the most is needed. Okay. He gets you out of the way. And then get you out. Oh, but I'm being dumb, I need to cut that out. Not cutting that. I'm definitely not cutting the whole freaking filter. Okay. Now just gently yeah, send you off. Filter. filter good. Filter nice. Filter valuable. <laughs> there. Okay. Yeah, we'll drop a pill and a blanket. That should be going. That'll be another half million. That's the thrusters getting damaged from use. Okay. Yeah, only 3k of aluminium lost on that. The filter is in. I think I did. Yep, radiation filter. Okay. Also something that can be moved down now are these. Let's give that a yoink. Okay, and that's one. And that's two. Let's quickly zip over to the other sides. There. Uh, comfy blanket. <laughs> Meanwhile, out, I'm out here in space doing hard labor. <laughs> okay. uh, at this point, I would not be surprised you actually just put me on a damn pillow with a blanket on my back or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm usually. It is this. Uh, actually, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the only reason I started to bring my blanket and a pillow to. Then again. Blanket didn't really work well on my old pieces share. Uh, it would get stuck. Okay. Bloody works damn well. Have I, have I actually checked the underside much? No, nothing too big. Just these access panels and such. See, is there anything specific with these to pluck off or something? Let's send this off. Boink. Let's see, all oh, processor, processor, furnace. Okay, so I couldn't cut that even if I wanted to. I would need to cut it free from the rest of the... <laughs> from the frame. Okay. Uh, some more paneling. And there. Uh, that's for processing. Yeah. Furnace. Oh, oh furnace, alright. So this switch on say processing so maybe it's something only but for processing? Maybe, but probably not enough to really be worth cutting it out for. There. Yeah, or just told me processing for another I'm to use who would do her. Okay. Can probably get to work on the re reactor. Let's see, anything on this thing? Nope. Okay. Off you go. Okay, and slowly but surely this thing is coming apart. 
anything here of separate value? Doesn't look like it, so off you go. Yeah, I think I'll I, I think I'll just keep on removing the outside to make it a lot easier to deal with the inside. Okay. Send that off. Anything that has bounced out or something doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing any wireframes of that. You get going. I just realized. Why was why why were there a time limit for this? Just for oxygen or something else? Uh, time limit, and you had to deal with oxygen drain drain as well. Oop. Richard, why was, would there be a time limit? Uh, because the company doesn't want you making too much money in one go. True. They also just mean they don't care about the result. They just want you to grab as much as possible and just throw it away. Which means you throw away still a lot of valuable things. True. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's what a lot of uh, companies will oh, we get that out. Yeah, basically this entire job is a depth trap. Okay. And many hypercatabolism are so extremely focused on short-term gain over long-term. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave that cut alone until we have exposed the reactor more. And I should keep an eye out for that last fuse. I think the amount of lights near the <clears throat> near the power generator shows how many fuses there are. The, there it is. <laughs> Speak of the electronic devil. And yeah, the more fuses you remove, the faster this goes. There. Okay. And now all of them are green. Yep. Okay. Oh god, it must be not a feel from 40k. I forgot mm. what these, imp these Imperial Gods are called. Maybe I can call them Imperial Gods. Basically, when you're born, the government on the planet will pay for your college, school and all that. Yeah. But once you're no longer in school and college and all that, you have to pay it all back. Uh, of course. So no. almost every citizen on the planet is part of the. Uh, I forgot what they called. It was it, it, indent, indentured or something. The indentured service. Yeah, the indentured legions, perhaps. Can I just pull that thing out and... I have to look it up, up, but I will say this: of all the pure gods. They're the ones with the worst uniform. <laughs> and what like, is it? The office even... work with dress or something? No, wor it, like it's so it's so bad. It's not even funny. Like, imagine a green baggy uniform, then add random white dots to it. Okay. Small dots, but still, just when you see, just look. What the heck? Are you wearing pyjamas or something? I said pyjamas. I think I accidentally said that with a Swedish accent. Yeah. Pyjamas. PAs. If, 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 if it's called PAs, right? The, the yeah. sleeping clothes. Yeah, clothing. PJs or sleepwear. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like militarized sleepwear. Okay. Let's see. Let's, we'll let someone else deal with this shit. There we go. Because I'm pretty sure the, the fact that the lights are on means that there is actual uh, material in there. So, yeah. <laughs> That's now literally their shit to deal with. You ink that out. Uh oh. Mm. And it just got hooked on something. Okay, it's hooked on one of the panels here. <laughs> okay, gives me a moment to pull that off. Again, it's it's just it's a tiny amount, but still, it'll go towards the uh, 
the, the counter up top. Let's see, and as long as we don't accidentally destroy something big, like the reactor, we should be able to get all of the salvage uh, mar milestones. There. And there. Are you hooked into something else? No, you are moving. Ever so slightly, but you are moving. Okay, meantime, you two... Okay, apparently there was a decently sized aluminium panel on something there, but oh well, 28,000 know, 28, is nothing compared to the, what, 30 million that this thing is supposed to be worth? There. Okay. Oh. Let's not send that into the processor. Okay. Careful then to not launch it into something else. There. Okay, let me actually add in a bit more to keep this moving so it doesn't end up in the furnace instead. Because that is quite a lot. One of them is failing. We do not want that to fail before it is at least halfway past the middle point here. I hope they stay to at one point us to find a ship with the um, unpleasant surprises here, like a uh, you know corpse or worse. Okay, that should do Dwarf. it. Yep. I would not be surprised if they add uh, an alien or something to a Halloween update. Now, for the Halloween update, they already added in the ghost ships at one point. Oh dear. Okay, little lights. Okay. You go there. Now, let's have a better look at our reactor here. Ew, okay, that sent a lot of stuff flying. Let's not have you vanish into the furnace. And I think it might still. Okay. One tether is going to break. Okay, it's safe now. You avoided mm. disaster. One more just to send it in. Okay, well, that <laughs> exposed these for easy dumping. All right. Slam dunk! There. Now, let's have ourselves another look. The mounting plates. Structure and that's around it. Let's remove every explosive hazard. Yeah, that's just a tiny little bit of debris. For a moment, I thought there was something else that ended up in there. Oh dear. Okay, let's see. Another light. We are slowly but surely working our way up the many <laughs> milestones of this salvage. <coughs> Do okay. shoot now. <clears throat> now let's have ourselves a look. Get out of the way. Okay, we've got fuel intake or fuel output more. And okay. The coolant is going in directly. So we can break this if we want to. Still going to be really careful <laughs> when possible. For okay. obvious reasons, but I'm pretty sure you actually... Oh. I think you actually blew up a nuclear reactor once or something. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I was right in the middle of the blast. 
Okay, get those out of the way. Now then. Let's see, are you physically attached to the structure? It doesn't look like it. You're kind of free-floating. Hmm, which means that if I can, if I can get the ECU free from its mooring, uh, the emergency coolant unit, then I could pull out the entire system and just dump it out like that. I th think it'll probably be a bit easier, though. Hmm. At first, let's move some more of this out of the way as much as possible. Okay. And send you down. Actually, there. Okay, all of that is off as well. It should not get into the furnace. Okay. Hmm. Since these cutting lines are here all the same, and I don't want to go all the way around, I'm just going to make use of them. There. Okay, now the reason you want to get the fuel out of the system and the coolant is because the long... Uh, it'll ensure that you have more time during the controlled meltdown. Uh, wait, what's that? No, that's furnace. Yep. Oh well. 22. Okay. Hmm. Now, the only thing keeping this thing stable at the moment is the coolant. Oh, oh is it actually... No, it's not touching. Now, I think it's being kept in place by the jank force a bit. But it is... They, uh, they aren't actively touching, but they are close enough to count as touching. The jank... Force. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pull off some panels. Now the reactor should only be really attached to the lower cap. So once all of these side panels are off, we can pull the top one off. Okay. Because there are still some moments in this game where the yeah, the physics get a bit confused. Okay. Uh, that's the last panel. There. And that can be pulled off freely. Okay. Send that flying off like a <laughs> the world's worst Beyblades. Okay. Two out of three rows are full. One row is full on it, of its own. The other one is uh, has been filled because we have got the fuel out. If we remove the last bit of coolant, this thing is immediately going to go into meltdown, but it'll have all 15 of those blocks to go through. So it, it is technically the safest me way to melt it down. Hmm. <clears throat> Are you supposed to pull it into the barge? Yep. Okay, so... The way I think I'll do this... Is to Careful. try and get this panel removed. As best as possible. Let's take a bit of distance. Okay, why is it not moving to the other ones as well? There. It will complain a little bit about us destroying other materials, probably. But, yeah. It'll be less material lost than if the reactor goes boom. Hmm. Okay. Cut that one. 
Now we just need to cut off the top side here. Okay. One panel for the furnace. There we go. Okay, let's clear these out just for our own safety. They're only worth like a thousand bucks each, but still we want them out of our way. And I just noticed that that has stopped moving. Okay. Careful. I'm pretty sure that the thing can take a bump, but I don't want to yeah, take too many risks with things just getting janky. Yeah. There. The Especially broke. when it involves a reactor. There we go. And I'm pretty sure that damn thing is stuck. Okay, now we have a safe path to take the reactor out. So, the moment this disconnects... There, reactor melting down. But we have plenty of time. So, just pull you loose, pull you out. And... Uh, off you go. Uh... I hope that doesn't bump it too hard, because I think it's going to hit the rim. Okay, actually... There we go. <laughs> yeah, that... That's... That's... It felt really freaking tense, but it was, for the most part, completely safe. Yep. Okay. What? Don't lie to us! <laughs> okay. Get that you going. You and me both know how badly that could have gone. Yeah. But luckily it didn't. Now let's see. All of that is processor material. Hmm. Let's see. 30,000 for that whole thing. 13 for that. Hmm. Can I... No, I can only cut the entire thing. Hmm. Let's see, we need to get this thing out, but it's being held captive by this. So, yeah, we'll just have to cut this bit off, which does ruin it. But, oh well. Actually, how far, how close to it can we cut it? Okay, that still destroys the entire thing. Oh, well. Wait, what? But I just said, save is destroyed. Don't do that. Yep. Though I don't really see how else to get that out. And even if we could get... Uh, could, yeah, even if we could get the entire pipe free, we would still need to... It would still be attached to the, EM, to the ECU. Okay. Wait, the mm. pipe is still there. Hmm? I've already yeah, the destroyed the entire pipe. Yeah, it is, uh, it's still here, but it now counts as furnace material instead of... Uh, it's lost 90% of its value. Okay, now are we actually just supposed to cut around this part? Wait, if that pipe and that one is still oh, count as furnace... Just throw it all into the furnace. Yeah, this part still counts as for the processor because it's untouched. Oh, okay. So just the tiny pipeline that the... Uh... Yeah, the tiny bit on the other side of the wall is considered destroyed. Okay, then it's not a big deal for that. It was a rather small... Yeah. Uh, okay, that destroyed a bit more than I thought it would, but still that's only 14k... Uh, 1400 done. Okay. Now... Might as well send... I should try to put the potatoes down more when I'm just free-floating. Or now that when I'm yeah, 
floating in one spot, not floating all over the place. Okay. There, get you in. And yeah, we're almost at the sixth milestone already, after an, almost an hour of plucking this thing apart. What? So... Already an hour? Yep, 15 minutes at the top there. Yeah, th th this game... Th this, this game is a good way to waste time. Okay, fuel is low, but not too low that we can't deal with it. Okay. Now, the inside of this thing... Well, as you can see, is absolutely filled with goodies. Okay, that was the hard thing that the hard crate that got destroyed somehow. Now, let's see, is there any piece of paneling here? Actually, there's already a perfect hole right here. Okay, so whoever thought that was a good idea for the salvagers, at least that was a good idea. So, a little trick that I've used quite a lot in the past. No, not don't pull stuff out. I want that sold. It's just. Stick to the roof over a hole and just dump everything down into the barge. You spidey man it? Yep, <laughs> spider salvager. <laughs> Let's see, you're destroyed. You, we can actually use. Now, I overlooked you before. So, get ourselves some thruster fuel. These things are surprisingly uh, pricey. They've also rebalanced uh, the costs of everything a lot. Yeah, this thing alone is 78,000 for some reason. Probably oh, uses a lot of uh, advanced tech. Possibly. Now, let's get you out of there. 58 and a half. Could be also be that it's easier, it's cheaper to repair it than to make a new one. True. Be a little bit careful not to just bounce off of the rim. Okay. Storage bins. You are going to need a bit more finagling just because of the size of you. Oop. <laughs> or Gmon jank it out. Okay. There. Oh oh, no, mm. I, I, I'm stuck on. I really want a walk version of this. <laughs> So, it'd be more of a salvaging for the scraps to make uh, tanks work as and other things. Like, instead of it's trying to escape, you're just trying to... Make DACA? Yeah. Yeah, make DACA. <laughs> now, would, that, would, that be, that. would that be an orc mm -hmm. doing it, or a Gretchen? Well, if you were to craft the we weapons and such as well, then definitely the orc. <laughs> But you definitely could use some assistance that would be the Gretzkin. Yeah. So if okay. you want to play the Gretzkin, you probably want to just carefully work until you can plan a revolt. Yes, they have planned revolts. Yeah. Usually unsuccessful. <laughs> but also okay. rogue Gretzkin that all live out in the wild as rebel fighters. <laughs> Okay. Now you wonder, why are the Gretzkin Venom Fighters? Well, they want to fight in the Greek War too. <laughs> okay, instead of just being uh, stress <laughs> stress balls for the orcs. Yeah. They more like, we want to fight to get the loot. <laughs> and usually when they could march in for demanding to be take part in the, the fight, orcs just wondered, you just look at them and go, what the heck is going on? Why are they here? Why are they, why are they complaining? Throw them out. And they may become a brawl and they just punch them, eat them, all that. Yes, they do eat yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Mushroom cannibalism. Yeah. And then that's actually, I like to learn about more squig species. There are surprisingly many. And there's <laughs> one. That looks so bloody sad. <laughs> the eating squig. Yeah, easy to guess what they're for. 
Yeah, they, they, they look, they look basically a legless squeak that have a bit of a squarish, sad face. This look. This is my life. Really? Or something like that. This looks sad. But that one is not the squeak that has the worst of it all. Which would that be then? The shoeing squeak. Uh, who need to choose food for orcs who can't do it themselves or something? Uh, no, it's a squeak that's used as a shoeing gum. <laughs> a literal chew toy. Yeah, now you see why I said that one probably worst of all. Like, eat this quick, at least gets eaten. No yeah, at least they get chewed. put out of the misery. <laughs> For the chewing ones, <laughs> life is misery. Nope, get back here, you. Uh, uh. But yeah, the squeak comes in many forms. And some of them are actually terrifying, like the squeak off, mm. which is probably the biggest version of them right currently in 40k. Come out, you. There. And I've been told this before, because you actually get to see in, the, in one of the orc games that released. Okay. Orcs don't have hair. Yep. <laughs> That's a squeak. They have okay. a squeak biting into the scalps to make it look like I have hair <laughs> or beard. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, sometimes the containers tend to be really stubborn. Did we literally manage to flip the entire thing by wrestling with a few? <laughs> okay. Okay? Madness? Uh. I try to remember more here. I think there's one called the Squig Hop. This looks like a pterodactyl. These orcs have tried to tame. Hey, I think you can guess how well that works. Yeah. <laughs> they still Break. not su be successful. They usually end up in... Yeah, the orcs usually get wrecked when they try. No, oh, that got damaged. And of course... Lucky it didn't blow up. They also... Squig sharks. <laughs> okay. A bunch of piranhas. No, just a damn big shark. But all squeak bees do. Okay. Wish they have used an uh, as ammunition. Like the, the squeak bees won't bite orcs, but they apparently think orcs taste bad. So the orcs just put them into cannons, shoot them into animal lines, and let the bees have fun over there. <laughs> and as of we, course. Worst time we should say, but for orcs, that's just hilarious. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> love how you say that. So that uh, orcs, uh, just hilarious. Uh, orcs get are them out. Uh, yeah. the, how would you describe orc humor? Orcish. Uh, well, yeah, yes. It, it, it goes beyond slapstick humor. Yeah, they just slap everything with a stick, and everything well, else in reach. <laughs> Wait, what? And everything else that's in reach, probably a squid yeah. or two as well. <laughs> Maybe that'd be the good word for it, squeak stick. <laughs> because often it's just hitting a squeak with a stick. Oh god, they, they do have bumper squig. Should I even ask? Uh, they just... It's a regular squig. They just tie explosives to it and let it run. And yes, they lit them, they lit this explosion on themselves. Most of the explosives they are put on an old dynamite. Yeah, otherwise it'd be a good waste of explosives. A, a yeah, waste so of good yeah, explosive boom. But yeah, if you see a squeak running at you with explosives, including for some reason explosives in <laughs> dynamite stick in the mob. <laughs> he let before he reach you. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm just going to collect some of these bits and just dump them in here for the moment. Uh, just throw them out in you, one go. You have emptied this out. Yep. 
But there's still the, the front half. But beyond that, we have gotten most of everything in here and on the outside. Yeah, you already emptied out this room where all the sh uh, shares were. Yep. Or oh, seats? Mm. Is there a difference between seats and share? I think they are called seats by the game. Okay. You. Oh, actually, I guess share would it be something that have legs. Uh, these tend to have at least one themselves, mostly just for bolting them to the floor. There. Yeah. Oop, you're over here. Okay. Let's see. We've. How much have we gotten so far? Let's see. 25 million salvage so far. And weren't you hmm. like 1 million in depth? No, it's more like a, a trillion. Let's see. Oh, for love of. This panel is t supposed to be removable from the cutting lines around it. It would also and be a good way of getting all of these out. You have to go around. Aren't we a clone? Uh, yep, yeah, you are. You do play as what is basically a clone, which I think is that is going to come up into the into the story sooner or later once the union starts to get uh, footing. That they'll probably yeah. the, the company will probably go clones that don't have human rights and so no uh, rights to workers' rights either. Yeah, and they probably have some loophole that allows them to kill you, recruit, uh, clone you, and recruit you. Yeah. This is, again, if people see why I've been fearing to return to this uh, game. Like, 40k? I can handle for, I know it's supposed to be Green Dark and all. But yeah, and parody like, slash satire to a certain level. Yeah. But here? But this yeah. is a bit, this is a bit different. Yeah. The, 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 no, it's it, no it, chance of a glorious death here. Just the eternal workloads. Yeah. As I, say, I, I, I would not want to live in 40k universe. It's still a horrible place to live in. Yeah. No, not this one either. As well. Yeah. There. Actually, have we managed to wretch that loose? Doesn't look like it. I think I remember us having issues with the cockpit parts in the past as well. Yeah. Oh, right. Hold on a sec. There's an air filter over there. Let's see. To get this thing out, we just need to cut around it. I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes, shut up. It's just a bit of scrap. I guess I probably should have done this earlier. Okay, uh... Where are you still held? You didn't cut up over. Hmm. Are you getting... Also... Yoink. Hmm. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Ah, uh, it's a corner pieces. Yep. Yeah, they are going to keep complaining about that. But this thing is worth more than all those little bits combined. There. Now, can we move you? No, are you still held shut by something? Did you miss the bottom corner piece? And so, do these still count or something? There. Hmm. 
Okay, let's take a look inside. Let's see, let's just destroy this bit. 44.48. Yeah, it's still touching something somewhere. Yeah, also, uh, you yoink. Know, I was a god. Hmm. You remember we talked about how Robotnik uh, is able to afford and prepare his robot arms and all that? Yeah. I want someone to do a. One of those uh, cinema uh, scenes on uh, Who Murdered Sonic game. I just realized we have an answer to. Uh, to uh, one of uh, robots, uh, Robotnik's uh, way of getting money. No. Crypto farm? <laughs> uh, no. He's the owner of the casinos we've been seeing in the games. Uh, all right, yeah. <laughs> that would definitely be one way of getting his funds. Now, is yeah. this stupid thing no, still one stuck? One of many ways. But it, it probably would explain what it, I guess they finally canonized why there have been so many casino levels in the older games. Yeah. And why his face is part of the part of the uh, roulettes and such. Uh, this bit uh, here. Snow still held somewhere. Probably this then. No. Do I have to? Do I have to just destroy the entire walls around it? Because as far as I can see, it isn't actively touching anything anymore. Or is it just that heavy? Uh, let's see. You are processor, yes. Is it going to move? Okay, it, it, it is just that heavy. Okay, good to know. Well, then we can Chunky. try the same here. Let's just pull it out, or is it held in place? Yeah, it, it's held in place. It, we can we can tell by the uh, the first number with the kilograms that it's still connected to stuff because it's showing a bigger number than its own weight. So there. Uh, we don't need to cut through that all the way, but it's probably the only way. There. No, still attached somewhere. Hmm. Let me get an angle. Just cut through this tiny little bit here. Nope, still attached. You? I think I accidentally... I think the game got accidentally deselected again there. Um, you? I think it is literally just these corner pieces somehow keeping it attached. Wait. Well, oh, we're there. almost spending in so two hours on one ship. Yep, it is the biggest ship type in the game. And let's not use those in here. Drink. Still attached. Still attached. Okay, seriously, where is it touching still? Is it this bit here? Yes, that, it's that bit. There's yep. something there. Is that a light you can throw it down? Yep. There are three K about each, but they don't. The game doesn't really care about it if you destroy those. Okay, out you go. Okay, so those things really are that, just that fucking heavy, and they should make removing these last bits a little bit easier. 
Back. Go. Air filter. Just need to line up. Careful. Okay. No, you're not going into the atmosphere. You're going into that. Okay, salvage number seven. Uh, lost track of my positioning for a bit. Uh-oh. Okay. Last few of these. Actually... There. Okay, yeah, much, much better with a much bigger hole. Uh, something, something, that's what she said, whatever. There. Okay, once we're done here, we can return to the cockpits to clean that out. You're lucky I cannot access the sound file at the moment. What? Uh, it keeps just loading. <laughs> Did it earlier as well? I, I guess it might be on Discord's end. Maybe. It's there. But Did you yeah, actually today that Discord is also doing all your money and doing layoffs? Uh, Apparently, they hired too many people during the pandemic. Or at least what they, it's what they claim. Yeah, like, you can hire too many people, uh, that I can see. Especially if you think you're gonna need them. But, yeah, if you wanna grow your company, you need to do it carefully, not too quickly. Otherwise, you end up needing to do layoffs. Yeah, which is going to make you look like an asshole whichever way the wind blows. But yeah. then there's also a likely, just as likely a chance that they'll fire too many people, so they don't end up with enough people to actually do all the work. Yeah. I have heard something that might be good for Unity's point, uh, uh, thing. But there seems to be a sign that may actually return to fully focus on working on the game engine and not on everything else. Okay. If there has any chance of restoring their reputation, that is. Yeah, for many of the board of directors are leaving. Okay. Especially ones that seem to be in part, uh, part of the ones that uh, definitely did not focus on it. So yeah, many people are getting fired, including the, some of the board of directors, two of them are le leaving. But it could hopefully lead to something better. Maybe. We'll have to see if uh, they manage to re restore enough trust in them to not get, well, <laughs> completely overtaken by other game engines like Godot and such. Yeah. For the old boss? Who is no longer the boss? Yeah, Holy. was an idiot. Yeah, uh, he, he, he was the very same idiot who suggested trying to put in micro transactions for reloading in shooter games. Yeah, he called everyone else an idiot for not doing that. Like, he is the kind you would call a hyper capitalist. Yeah, and an idiot at that. Though I guess <laughs> those two are basically the same thing. Uh. Let's shove everything over this way, so we'll have easier access above the big pits. I just imagine you just opening a hole and then using them to shake the spaceship so all everything else just falls down there. <laughs> You know, like I, I in those do, cartoons. I do think it is possible in some places to just uh, collect all of the stuff in one room uh, and then just cut a hole in the uh, floor so that everything gets jettisoned into the uh, the barge. 
And no, I'm not putting them in the wrong place. Those were damaged. So, furnace oh, stuff. Okay, I thought. Oh no, did he just throw a, threw a bolt into the furnace? Yeah, j j just look at the color underneath the uh, color. Yeah, yeah, uh, the color underneath the cursor, and you'll see it's not where it goes. Easy. They kind of almost disappear on this small moment of pixelations. Okay. Where? Where? Now, how much is there actually left outside of the cockpit? Because I, I presume that at least one point to the next... Uh, or one part of the bar is going to be just the superstructure of the entire thing. There. One thing I'll have to keep a bit of a better eye out for with future ships is these cutting lines, that, these intended cutting lines. That, that should make getting stuff out of the shell a lot easier. Yeah, and maybe be more careful about the size of the ship. <laughs> like, a little uh, money, yes, but... Well, you see the timer. Yeah, it does mean that we'll have a good amount of progress towards the next uh, certification and thus this next uh, story bit. Uh, As true. you can see in the upper right, so we have passed our certification requirements. Also, you need to go into the barge. As do you. And the desk can go into the fire. Yep. Oh, that's, that's the fuse box. That's of no interest. Let's chuck this thing into the furnace. Okay. Now, where are those bits I tossed out just now? You threw a whole shoe into the furnace. <laughs> ah, there's the fuse. Oh, gosh. I just remember something I learned before going to bed. Oh. Something, mm. a recipe that was very popular in England. Hmm? Dutch milk soup. Okay, so just milk. Uh, also some cinnamon and I think ginger. And you're also supposed to throw toasted bread into it. <laughs> okay. Yes, it needs to be toasted first before you turn it soggy for Apparently it does a lot of... Yeah, it does a lot with, with the flavor and consistency. Okay. And apparently it was... Well... Alright, it wasn't it wasn't a, a uh, diet food, but it wasn't... Re something the... Max Miller realized, realized that he was studying some guy. Realized, uh, okay, this food technically doesn't go against that uh, guy's... Uh, Victoria or Gregorian weight loss diet thing mm. and many of those diets don't aren't really that good anyways because it's tip, it's typically about losing weight fast not actually well changing your lifestyle to the point where you won't regain that uh, weight the next day after mm. yeah he the, the the guy actually yeah this is from 1800s or 1700s actually wrote that it was a struggle for he lost many times the weight but also regained it after a few years again and then he to the point that he actually avoided london <laughs> okay apparently yeah whenever he's moved back to london was the time he actually regained all his weight a few years later let's see any yep they're still connecting bits actually Fuck all of fuck the precision work with cutting out the entire wall. Yeah, as long as we're not damaging anything on the other side, it should be okay. Three, two, one, take over. Don't burn the computer. There's a computer's in there. Yeah, the. the this thing is accurate enough that it won't cut through anything behind what you're targeting. It would be accurate, Oops. but are you? Accurate enough. 
And that is that stupid thing finally free. Caution. And I'm out of tethers. Please refill supplies. Okay. Just zip on I over. I misreading suit voice to soft voice. <laughs> okay. Welcome to tethers. It's a bit hard to read it the, 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 with the certain backgrounds behind the text. Let's see, how much glass is that? Uh, only 3k. Neglectable. Okay. You... Go. And now it comes loose of that. <laughs> this, okay. Okay, cancel that, and just hard right into the processor with you. Nothing of value? No. Okay. Now we can empty out the cockpit, and then we can start on, well, just dunking all of this, all of that's left into the furnace. I'll probably have to cut it up into a few pieces to do that. But yeah, we are almost done with this thing, which we've been working on for almost an hour and a half now. No, we have actually worked for one hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, the stream is at an hour and a half, but the in uh, right. mission, the, the, yeah, the timer in game is at 82. Yeah, I was trying to make sense. Of it. What's it in, see, doing the buff? Okay, why? It says 82, 82 there, then you wouldn't be the real so yeah, we were in the room and all that. Yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't okay. be going there eventually. That's the second to last Don't one. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Uh, Next hello. time I bite it off. There we go. And yeah, we're going to probably get a bit of story no matter what happens after we're done with this. Because, well, we'll definitely have hit the next marker. Um, we'll have to see how we do other streams of this game. I, I don't want to have too many of them just be us working on another ship trying to get enough points to the next uh, part. But I, maybe I'll do, if, if need be, I'll do a, uh, a ship or two off screen just to get us close to the next part, uh, to the next certification level. So that the next stream is going to have that at the absolute least. Yeah, like, sure, we have plenty of things we can talk about. A lot of things can happen here, but let's be honest. It can be tricky to find out something to talk about at times. Yeah. Okay. These handles. Hmm. It is just absolutely tiny bits, but they're still worth a, well, a tiny bit. Let's see. The only thing left on these is the little lights that the game doesn't care about. So, off you go. Then we have the anti-chamber to empty out. And that'll be that for, well, everything except for the shell, I believe. Or the interior shell, that is. Well, at least, is, I expected to say that would be that for that stream or something. <laughs> you can have that tone. Uh, we, we can probably work on one more ship, but we'll have to call it part way through on that. But we can pick a smaller one there. Yeah. Atmosphere regulator. But yeah, it's just it a, a fun now? and relaxing to... Uh, <laughs> An atmosphere regulator. All right. I thought you say regulator. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but yeah, we're regulator. almost done with this thing. We may need to blow it into a few chunks to get it moving into the <clears throat> into the furnace. But beyond blow that, it. blow it. Yeah, we have explosives. Oh no. <laughs> there. Okay. Another atmosphere regulator, but I, I must have certainly missed a few of those things then. Okay. Just a few more. And then we can just 
Well, cut loose with the cutter. Now that's just paneling. And apparently there's thruster fuel on this side there. There are still a few of the bigger lights around, but I think I'll just skip those. It's not going to be really worth it. Just look out for each and every one of those. And yeah. Are those doors? Nope, those are the fuse boxes, or the fuse containers. Well, they work, we can throw those down to the barge at least. Uh, those are easy to do that with. Uh, thermal plates? Now yeah, they're, they're processor material. I, no, are they? no, they're furnace material, as you can see here. They are part of the electrical system, oh. but they aren't actually yeah, valued yeah. on its own. Yeah, when I saw them black up, it's green or four, green equals barge. Okay, let's try and get this thing moving. And uh, nope, that is too heavy for them. So... I'm afraid. Yeah, let's cut through here. Though I don't know if that'll be a complete cut through this entire side or not. Okay. There. I haven't worked too much with these things. Uh, here we go. Okay, they do cut through most of it. It seems that it is maybe still missing a little bits here and there. Okay. Oop. Yeah, it has the same. It has the same thing going with uh, the cutter. In that they'll, yeah, they'll only really cut what they're aimed at, so it can lead to little rest bits like that. Okay, but is that separate now? No, mm, no. I'll just have to cut through di here diagonally. Okay. No, still about the same weight. So there is, yep, something holding it still. Okay. Going to do a few rough cuts, and yep, now it's in half. Okay. And is that going to be able to enough to move it? Hmm. Yes, slowly but surely. Very, very slowly. Okay. And that can go that way. You just need a tiny bit to hit the last marker. And yeah, they're scraping against each other at the moment. They are not Ooh. stopping each Ooh. other. Eve. Oh. What? Come on, tenors! You can do it! Oh, gods. Okay. There's not much we can really do to help speed this along. Because they're just way too freaking heavy for us to be able to try and move. Yeah, 17,000 kilos, 16,000. Let's put a few more tethers on to try and speed it along some. I don't actually know if that helps much or not, but oh well. <sighs> Hello, how did how did I miss you through everything? And how did you not accidentally get heated into <laughs> either uh, the furnace or the uh, processor? Uh, well, the rabbits. Let's see. So there's this guy on Mars. 
can't say the name, but you've probably seen him on the news. And this guy really likes ice cream. But, you know, living on Mars, the ice cream there uses soy milk. Obviously, for a person so wealthy, he gets to call himself eccentric instead of crazy. Getting real ice cream from Earth to Mars is no problem, but we're still talking a 250-day trip for most shipments. Not ideal if you suddenly develop a craving for a flavor you don't have on hand. So he gets this idea that he's going to raise cattle on Mars, and he hires us to get him there. Man pays for a dozen calves, three male, nine female, which he hopes to get to Mars as quickly as possible. I'm not entirely sure how they got the calves into orbit, but yeah, I can't imagine it was easy. I mean, those poor babies were scared stiff when we picked them up. For the next eight months, we took turns feeding and comforting the calves as they grew into cows and bulls. It was the smelliest, most exhausting, but oddly most satisfying flight I've ever been on. Still, we made it, and the pay was great. Got all 12 to Mars, healthy and happy. After a couple of months, the client invited us over to his place for his first batch of Martian ice cream. Can't say I could taste the difference. <laughs> okay. Uh, Elon Musk on his Mars colony getting a craving for ice cream. Material <laughs> uh, Okay. Come on, they're starting to go in. Yep. The suction of the furnace is starting to affect them. So that should hit the mark in just a few seconds. Yep, there we go. Okay, helter smelter, okay. We still lose a few doors here and there, but oh well. There's still a bit of debris floating around. But also, oh well. <laughs> We've been at this for an hour and a half. And I've got one door console. Okay. Complete all salvage goals on a gecko class ship. <laughs> and another door console, but honestly, I do not care because I <laughs> I sell it's 34 million. <laughs> okay, probably would have been a little bit more if I'd waited out there because it says there's still 1.5 million remaining. But honestly, it it's not. <laughs> It's not worth it to try and redo it and get the rest. And honestly, if if I just jump in, it'll pro it'll just end up getting that 1.5 million just from sucking the rest of the structure in. So yeah, a bit jumping the gun, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we're living here later on. Okay, that was a stretch I could use. What, do you want me to get the stretch bench? No. Incoming transmission waiting. It's... 52, it's Hal. Let's talk. Yeah. You know, in a lot of ways, you and I are the same. Came from Earth, hard worker, doing the real grunt work. You could be wearing my uniform someday, making decisions. That's a precious opportunity, you know. And it's hard. Harder than ship breaking, to be honest. It's not. You know, in this position, you gotta make the tough calls. Big picture stuff. You're gonna hurt people. You're gonna make them angry. Sad. Scared. Even cry. But you gotta do it. It's the job. One bad move, and boom! Right back down to where you came from. But yeah, I like you. You're not a troublemaker. Troublemakers spoil everything, if you let them. Keep doing what you're doing, and don't let them spoil you, 52. Stay on the straight and narrow, and I'll be sure to mention you in my final report. See you around, chum. He almost said chum, didn't he? <laughs> I get the feeling uh, he's been going around with everyone sucking up to them. Yeah, also... Was this nose a bit red? Let's see, we've got a bunch of new posters. Would not be too surprised if he drinks. 
Let's see. Gecko Heavy Cargo. A top choice for, for companies that want to transport goods via railgate while keeping them protected from the cargo rustling that plagues ships with exposed cargo. AKA Pirates. I first of all want to thank former VP of Marketing Shasta Deleuze uh, for their, all their hard work and wish them luck in their future endeavors. Now to address concerns that this model is designed to fail after a certain amount of use, you know, we want to do what's best for the customer and believe that encouraging them to upgrade to a, mo a newer model is in their interest. So fully, <laughs> that's a full confession to the, the accusation or full admission. Let's see, environmentally conscious, salvage vibe and mental control units, okay. Herpetologist, salvage 30 million from one gecko. Reach certification 15. Okay. Any more smoke to blow up my ass, or... No, that's for the next level. Let's have a little bit of a look. That, that was actually a thing they did. The smoke blew up smoke is on ours. Let's install that. I'm detecting symptoms of acute awesomeness. Let's install these as well. A flawless procedure. No complications. Some fuses. Some wiring. Okay, now we need a dampener which is found in forklifts. Okay, we can probably find those in the heavy cargo you know, <coughs> ships. Uh, let's... Let's see. The one with the cows. <laughs> uh, do gotta ask that. Were those, were those cow noises in the background from another shipment of cows? Nope. Let's see. Uh, thank you to our members who shared reports of administrator activities, giving us a better picture of the situation across stations. Uh, as administrators have gone unchecked and without the ability for workers to uh, report misconduct, the union has seen unsafe and unfair working conditions arising at many stations. We are particularly concerned at the sudden loss of contact with some of our members. We're still waiting for more information, but suspect that Lynx is wrongfully terminating employment. We want all of you to know that we're still here. Unionization is a right. We will continue our fight through, uh, for your voice. Hope is action. Solidarity is strength. You do gotta wonder what happens when someone's uh, gets when someone gets fired because uh, they're pretty much stuck up here. Let's, Let's have a little look at the workstation. Anything that needs repairs? Yes, that can use some repairs. Any upgrades? Tether amount? Always good, because that will save us money on how many we buy. Durability drain, forced push, tether life strength, range. Yeah, tether strength would be a better thing to grab. Let's see, heat capacities, thrusters, speeds, durability drain, scanner. Uh, looks good to me. This is kind of not needed since we're working with no oxygen drain. Uh, let's grab this. We have a lot of Lynx tokens. So we can, well, save our sorry ass. Just upgrade all of this just in case for when it does go wrong. Uh, let's see. Self cleanup tweaks the demo charge. Self explosive self cleanup mechanism produce more reliable control over the destructive range. Okay, explosive size minus fifty percent. Okay. Uh, uh, That's I actually. Read the text. Let's see. Nothing cuts quite like the, these little gems. These remote demolition charges clear big salvage quickly, giving you more time for those detailed uh, pieces. The accompanying Lynx brand handheld charge detonator has over 10 different modes and is safety uh, certified. Uh, two, <laughs> two notes, uh, nine additional modes pending and safety certification pending. Yeah, that, <laughs> pretty sure that's not how that goes. Uh, let's see. We don't want we we don't want these things to actually be that big of a blast, especially since some of the things that need to be cut with this are very close to fuel tanks. Oh, oh yeah. I'm pretty sure you you found it out at the bad way times. 
good chance. Uh, I have lost at least one fuel, uh, one javelin uh, fuel tanks to that. Uh, let's see. Let's use some repair kits. I have a bunch of them. What the? Seriously? Hmm. I just look at the clock. Yeah, <laughs> ten minutes left. <laughs> oh, you tell me I, I had fun. <laughs> Sounds like it. Uh, let's see, we have a level 7 here. Which of these is worth the most? 31, 26 I saw there. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Piston, wire. We need a dampener. Which, yep, we can find on this thing. So let's start on this ship, but we'll probably call it quick... Maybe there's some chatter that we'll get from the other crew. But... It... Listen up, people. Want to tell you something I was told early in my career. You can patch a mistake, but the mistake's still there. Just covered up. The only way to truly fix a mistake is to not allow it to happen in the first place. I hope you're taking that in. You can't truly fix a mistake, so let's just avoid them to begin with. Okay? Yeah, you're still around, so that's no a mistake, mistake that hasn't been prevented or Go fixed. Him, okay. That was it. Okay. Uh, let's at least try okay. and depressurize this thing. Uh -oh. Let's see. Part of it is already depressurized. Okay. Gina screaming, panicking, free! Two, one. Airlock depressurizing. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the airlocks are the absolute safest part of any ship because they have a 0% failure rate. You have still made disaster happen through airlocks. <laughs> Chips. Uh. Um, 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 um. Let's let me pick up that. Yeah, this thing is. Wait. This thing is partially. Okay, the cockpit is depressurized. Um. Uh -oh. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, just be careful, the, uh, since roosters are... can be quite angry. Is there... Oh, hold on. Ah, there. Okay. <laughs> okay, accidental tethering. Oh, that, that, was, that was a tether, okay. I thought something would try to stab you first. Let's see. Oh, that you shot debris. something. Uh, yeah, okay. It's just tender. Okay, okay. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a nuisance since the atmosphere uh, thing is broken in here. Um, let's flip that around. I'll be taking that. Let's see. ECU is decompre uh, decom yeah. is decompressed. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with like this. We just blow all of the oxygen you know, into the cockpits. Nope. Okay, this is how the best hiding spot. Well, oh, now all the loose stuff is in here, so is there anything of actual interest in here? Uh, wait, yep. actually, yeah. Yep. Uh, look down. The data drive, and no, you're not getting those chips. Wait, this but, thing is still intact. <laughs> chips. The chips. Th those things could be a century old. I don't think you want them. Okay, that 
<laughs> Typically, these tend to break when they get pulled off the walls, but apparently not this time. Maybe okay. they changed that? Maybe they at least got damaged from being torn off, and this probably from bumping into something. But other than that, that was Ooh. an actual really good one. Wait, wait, I saw something else of interest. Dampener. Can't wait to see you get that old beauty up and running. Okay, what else did you see uh, then? More chips? <laughs> uh, I meant the beds. I don't think you'll want these, seeing as these are headed for the furnace. Oh. Well, more chips then. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's cut... Let's cut a hole in the roof somewhere and head out. Ooh, but, uh, bye bye. Uh, Ooh, I want that off first. Uh, that's that's going in there, isn't? Let's see if we can stall that enough. Yep, that is getting pulled away. I did not expect for the entire section to just get blown the fuck off. Ooh. Yeah, you just. Actually, that's a concern, ain't it? I don't want to go into the processor myself. But that looks to be an inevitable ability now. Or... If... <laughs> fighting the pole? <laughs> fighting the pole? <laughs> God, you <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to upgrade the pull strength on that thing. <laughs> so that's my first time dying to the processor. You have been processed. The total value was eight eight dollars and fourteen cents, really. Uh. No cutter. I'll say one thing. You certainly ain't afraid of dying. You might want to try and keep your spares to a minimum if you want to pull yourself out of debt. <laughs> okay, not the first time I died in this run. I have died twice from getting crushed before because of those stupid quasar things. Uh, yeah, that's it's a... still got some <laughs> worth out of that. Yeah, that's <laughs> one way to end the stream. We've been waiting for you to do so mess up. And, and I mess up. Final. Yeah. <laughs> Just not in the way we expected. Do I it is. I am deeply concerned who the heck built that ship. Yeah, like, why the fuck did it just jump off like that? And before we end the stream, I'm going to just get an upgrade to increase the pull strength of that. <laughs> Let's see, grapple, uh, range, strength, yes. Upgrade. Actually, let's upgrade the hell out of that. Okay, now we're low on points, but oh well. That sh should not happen again. <laughs> and it happens again. Uh, okay, save and quit. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this, this game is just fun. Uh, it's uh, relaxing and rather soothing when, well, you're not fucking up. And when you are fucking up, well, <laughs> things tend to go chaotic anyways. Yeah. Uh, Oh, okay. God. But for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me change this over. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, forgot to, I forgot to put hmm? on always on top on this on the windows uh, on the projector. <clears throat> oh, dear. Anyways, uh, I'm tired. Uh, you, you know when your skin almost ache for you so tired? Yeah. Yeah, I'm having that. Ooh, okay, we're going to have to narrow this down a bit. What? Just a lot of people online. Let's see. Let me pick out a few. Now, Lashris is playing Super Mario RPG. Schwalbe is playing Star Wars Republic Commando. Okay, that's in our our, our to-do list uh, with the <clears throat> switching uh, with the Sonic and Star Wars games we have lined up. 
Should we play Lazarus? Okay. It's become a bit of a ha a common you know, thing to raid Lash. Let me... Yep. Yeah. Demo, that. demo with us earlier, so... Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And there goes the timer. Yep. Copy. Channel. And slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Do we have any lurkers around? Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. We have one lurker. I, I'll test your name against a list of known bots uh, just for safety because, well, Twitch is freaking infested with them. Uh, but yeah, if you aren't a bot, sorry. And if you are a bot, you, well, you can't care anyways. <laughs> and as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining here or on YouTube. Yeah. <clears throat> now, we'll have to see if we do a multiplayer stream tomorrow or not. Uh, but for, well, almost certain, we'll have uh, another stream of Sonic Heroes on Tuesday and Thursday. But we'll have to see if nothing gets in the way with that. Yeah, hmm. hopefully nothing comes in the way. So for now, let's get that raid started, and thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch out for space seagulls. <laughs> and pushy middle management. That too.